it started out as family fun. It started with me and my kids, but then it was just about making a video and then making the next video. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for infamous controversies about family themed YouTube channels that shocked everyone. And my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because it's going to sound like I'm like a mean barbarian. Plus, we'll explore what public backlash or legal consequences they faced. Ryan's World. Ryan's World, formerly known as Ryan's Toy Review, is one of the biggest channels on the platform. The youngster who plays and chats about toys, games, and adventure parks captured the attention of children everywhere. <laughs> it's Mater! It's Mater, he fell off! But in 2019, news about his mother, Lone Guan, was disclosed. In 2002, she was an 18-year-old student attending University of Houston and was caught trying to shoplift clothes from a J.C. Penney store. Lone Guan was arrested in 2002 for stealing $93 worth of clothes. Guan received a $150 fine, 40 hours of community service, and six months of probation. Shortly after, however, she was arrested for breaking the terms of her probation and was sentenced to 60 days in prison. Guan was released after 30 days. <laughs> Jordan Cheyenne There have been plenty of accusations of YouTubers faking emotional segments for views, but few have been so exposed as Jordan Cheyenne was in 2021 when she uploaded the since-deleted video titled we are heartbroken. I'm gonna let you guys go. I need to go be there for Christian. In it, Cheyenne and her son Christian film from their car, discussing the disease their dog was diagnosed with. In an accidentally left in part, Cheyenne can be seen coaching her son, telling him how to cry, where to rest his head, and what expressions to use. Act like you're crying really quick. I am crying. She even gets him to pose for the thumbnail. It's pretty spectacular, and we mean that in the most disgusted way possible. As backlash grew, Cheyenne apologized publicly, which was also criticized for being insincere. She then scrubbed her channel and social media profiles before going on a hiatus. I have never been this upset with myself. Micah Stauffer In 2017, after years of searching for a special needs child to help, Micah Stauffer and her husband James, the two who vlogged under the name The Stauffer Life, finally found a preschool-age child to adopt into their family. The parents, who share three biological children as well as Micah's daughter from a previous relationship, adopted Huxley from China in 2017. Beyond asking for donations to help raise him, it all seemed to be going well. But by 2020, things changed drastically. After months of speculation, Stauffer posted a video that they had rehomed their adopted child. Do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500%. The couple said that the stress of caring for a severely special needs child was the leading factor for their decision. Of course, there was a massive amount of backlash from the public. So much so that Stauffer deleted her channels and has been inactive on social media since. We love Huxley and know that this was the right decision for him and his future. Spiritual Tasha Mama Going by Spiritual Tasha Mama and now Spiritual Natasha on YouTube, Tasha Miley is a controversial figure on the platform. On one hand, she has helped promote nursing children and the vegan lifestyle. On the other, Miley has been criticized for a certain story. In 2017, she spoke about the time she and her husband were intimate while she was in the act of breastfeeding her son. She later clarified that the child was sleeping at the time, but it still seems like an icky situation that made many uncomfortable. The baby was sleeping while breastfeeding. The public has also pointed out other videos that have been interpreted as inappropriate between Miley and her children. At the same time, even if the baby is awake and like off to the side or something, if the baby's okay, the baby's okay. They're not sitting there judging you and thinking. Sam and Nia. Pregnancy announcement videos are often endearing. Other times, not so much. One released by the channel Sam and Nia, Christian family vloggers, was more of the latter. She's really pregnant. 
In 2015, they filmed a video involving Sam sneakily dipping a pregnancy test into Nia's unflushed toilet water, then surprising her with the positive result. Regardless of whether it was staged, this sparked a debate about privacy in relationships and woman's autonomy. No way! Are you serious right now? Not long after, it was discovered that Sam had at one point had a profile on the infamous affair dating website Ashley Madison. The duo released an apology video where Sam mentioned that Nia and God forgave him, which only drew further criticism. After a brief hiatus, the family returned to the platform. Our marriage is worth fighting for, and it always will be. The LeBrant Fam As one of the most popular family-themed channels, you'd expect the LeBrant Fam to be squeaky clean of scandal. But nope. Firstly, in 2018, as the wildfires swept over California, the family put out a video that they were ordered to leave their home. I'm just doing this just in case if we do have to evacuate or our home gets burned down, we have it. However, neighbors of the LeBrants claim their area was never given the evacuation order. Secondly, in 2021, the channel released a video that implied their child had cancer when it was a health scare. Whenever I thought Posey had cancer, all I was like, we gotta fight. Thirdly, in 2022, they put out a documentary on abortion, taking a pro-life stance but calling it pro-love instead. In it, they shockingly compare the number of lives lost to the Holocaust to those from abortions, implying that the latter is worse than the former. Understandably, people were livid. How can we help more? What more can we do? Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to find out. Yeah. Toy Freaks with family channels, there's always a conversation about parents potentially exploiting their children for views. With Toy Freaks, it's no misunderstanding, as it was clear this was the case. Gregory Chisholm encouraged his daughters to act like babies and do humiliating things on camera. Victoria, what are you doing? What are you doing? It was pretty uncomfortable. But the final straw came when he filmed multiple videos of himself walking into the bathroom as they bathed and throwing an animal at them in what he claimed was a joke. I caught a frog. Or a toad. One clip featured a frog that terrified the girls. Experts stated that these antics could have a lasting and damaging effect on their mental health. With the litany of incidents, the Toy Freaks channel was terminated in 2017. Fantastic Adventures Created by Michelle Hobson, the Fantastic Adventures channel showcased Hobson's biological and adopted children and their antics. But in 2019, horrible things came to light. How, after all of those details, Michelle managed to keep the kids is a mystery. Hobson's adult daughter called authorities, and when they arrived, the cops found the children in a tragic state, clearly malnourished. Allegations soon surfaced that Hobson and her two adult sons had physically abused the children if they refused to appear in a video or didn't perform the way Hobson wanted. Her Fantastic Adventures YouTube channel had over 800,000 subscribers. While Hobson was indicted on 30 counts and pleaded not guilty, she passed away before the trial, and the charges were dismissed as a result. In 2023, however, the Hackney brothers were charged with multiple counts of misconduct. Her adult sons were also arrested. Family 05 Originally known as Daddy 05, before creating the other channel Family 05, Michael and Heather Martin were known for their daily vlogs and joke videos. I was helping with the grocery shopping! Well, you suck, Daddy. But as their popularity increased, so did the video's content. So-called pranks seem to involve the physical and mental abuse of their children. As the scandal grew, two of the kids were taken from the household and into the care of their biological mom. Emma and Cody are with me. I have emergency custody. In 2017, facing charges of child neglect, the Martins handed in an Alfred plea, which allowed them to acknowledge the evidence but maintain innocence. As such, they received five years of probation. While their channels were terminated by YouTube, Michael would return in a new channel called The Martin Family, which is supposedly run by their kids. I really wish we had a crowbar right now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Eight passengers. After starting her channel Eight Passengers in 2015 about family life with her husband Kevin and their six children, there were several concerns with Ruby Frankie when it came to allusions to her extreme disciplining methods. In 2023, no one was ready for how far she went. I just had a 12-year-old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. One of her children managed to escape the house and get help, which led to the police arresting Frankie, Kevin, and their business partner, Connections Jody Hildebrandt. Without bail and behind bars sits a woman who once freely roamed around her home filming her family. Most of their children had signs of abuse and were taken into care after getting treatment. Frankie and Hildebrands were charged with six felony child abuse charges and held without bail. Unsurprisingly, Eight Passengers was banned from YouTube and Frankie's other social media profiles were deleted. Experts say Frankie's videos, even the deleted ones, could be used against her in court. On a lighter note, let us know which YouTube family channel you think is wholesome and unproblematic. Guess what? Someone's going to be going to public school very soon.